Today, we wanted to show you how to make a great Cantonese dish, wosio tofu, which I like to translate as smothered tofu. What you're looking at here is some tender tofu, fried then coated with a thick mushroom-based sauce. There's nothing fancy here, it's just a great dish that's easy to love. So to get started with your smothered tofu, you'll need tofu. This was two blocks or about 500 grams worth of silken tofu. Silken tofu is made with gypsum as a coagulant and is generally the go-to tofu in Cantonese cuisine. This kind of tofu does have some body to it though, so in the West you might alternatively see it labeled as firm silken tofu. We know that not all supermarkets carry silken tofu though, so feel free to sub this with soft tofu if that describes your situation. So just cut each block into eight pieces, and then we'll give that all a quick blanch. So blanching your tofu before frying accomplishes two things. First, this will pre-cook the tofu so that it doesn't need as long of a fry. And second, it'll also help slightly firm things up so it doesn't crumble on you. So just toss in a teaspoon of salt, make sure it's dissolved, then drop in your tofu pieces. Shut off the heat and let that sit in there for at least 10 minutes or until you're ready to fry. Okay, so the version of this dish that we're doing is a bit of a copycat recipe from one of our favorite restaurants here in Shunda. It's a really cool place tucked down an unassuming alley. It's the sort of joint where you have to like walk through the kitchen to get to your table. This is a relatively newer dish, and their version is our personal favorite wosio tofu so far, so that's what we'll be basing this on. So the first thing we'll need is one dried shiitake mushroom, reconstituted in cool water for a couple hours or alternatively overnight. This one is a must here. Now, that restaurant also added a bit of crunch in the form of one long bean and about two inches of carrot. If you can't find long bean, feel free to swap that for about three green beans, but both of these are ultimately optional in the end. We'll also be finishing this off with a non-insignificant quantity of scallion, or about two sprigs worth. So then to prep those, first squeeze the liquid out from the mushroom, snip off the stem, and finally give it a fine dice. Then peel your carrot, give it a dice, cut your long bean or green bean into small half centimeter-ish chunks, slice your scallion, and set that all aside. Back to the tofu now, transfer those onto a cloth and give them good pat dry. Give each piece of tofu a nice dusting with all-purpose flour and set those aside. Now we're going to be doing a really light egg batter here to give the tofu a bit of fluffiness. So crack an egg, beat it well until no stray strands of egg white remain, then sift in a half tablespoon of flour and mix thoroughly to ensure there's no clumps. Now to fry. In a wok with about three cups of oil, get that up to about 175 centigrade. Give the tofu a flip or two in your egg batter and drop it in. We're going one by one here because this batter is quite loose and doesn't like to stick for long. Then once all those are in, make sure they're all good and separate and give your tofu a quick flip. You want to cook the tofu for about three minutes in all. So after about a minute, some of the tofu we dropped in at first were good to remove. In the end, you're looking for them to be golden brown and obviously buoyant. So take out the tofu and these are ready for sauce. So right, for the sauce, we'll be using our leftover mushroom soaking liquid, then topping that off with stock. We're actually using a simple Chinese vegetarian stock here, and definitely check out our video here for how to make it if you're curious. But you could also use chicken stock, a Chinese homestyle stock, or if you're feeling lazy, even just water together with a teaspoon of stock concentrate. Either way, just toss in a half teaspoon salt, a half teaspoon sugar, and an optional but recommended sprinkle of all natural purified seaweed crystals to round everything out. So same wok as before, no need to wash it, just dip out most of the oil, leaving about a tablespoon, and wipe things down with a paper towel. Then with the flame on medium, toss in your minced mushroom, carrot, and beans. Give those a fry for about a minute until softened. Then pour a tablespoon of liaojiu, aka Shaoxing wine, over your spatula and around the sides of the wok. Super brief mix, then go in with your sauce mixture. Now over a high flame, bring that all up to a boil. Then hit it with a slurry of a tablespoon of cornstarch mixed with two tablespoons of water. Add in your slurry bit by bit, mixing as you go because you don't want to over thicken this. We were good with this quantity here, but depending on how much your sauce is already reduced, you might want a little less. Now shut off the heat, add in a drizzle or about a teaspoon of toasted sesame oil, and give it a mix. So now just take the sauce and smother it all over your tofu, sprinkle over a good handful of chopped scallion, and with that, your Cantonese wosio tofu is done. Uh, so we got a lot of questions on how to store raw tofu. Uh, what you can do is get some water and salt. The ratio is about 500 milliliter water to about half teaspoon salt. And you can mix them together and submerge the raw tofu in that mixture. Pop it in the fridge and it will extend the shelf life for at least a couple days. So right, uh, check out the link in the description box for detailed recipe.
big thank you for everyone that's supporting us on Patreon. And of course, subscribe for more Chinese cooking videos.